Should we like start out with like our backs to each other? Like that? Like hardcore like? I can't not smile. Yeah. No, I don't like that. Alright. What's going on everybody? This is the second episode of the Keto Couple Cooking Video. Yeah, we haven't got the, the name refined yet. It's a work in progress. But today we're gonna make an oatmeal. It's like oatmeal without the oats, so it's noatmeal. I did there? Yeah, pretty cool. Um, you make fun of me? Yep. yep. Alright, so I'm gonna tell you basically the, the base formula. We got one cup of water. You can use <clears throat> you can use almond milk, coconut milk, whatever. But if you're going for low calories, I would use the one cup of water, two tablespoons of chia seeds, and two tablespoons of ground flax. And that's really all you need for the base formula. I like to do a couple add-ons. So I'll add two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of heavy cream, and two tablespoons of almond butter on top. And um, before I have Chris tell you the macros, I want to give you a quick little intro onto why this is a good recipe. So a couple reasons. I get I get a lot of clients, a lot of uh, you know inquiries on social media asking about you know I'm kind of stopped up, I'm constipated, I've just started the ketogenic diet. What can I do to get things moving without eating a whole lot of carbs because I'm trying to keep my carbs down? This is normally my go-to answer, the note meal. It's made predominantly with insoluble fiber, and that's coming from those chia seeds and flax, so it's gonna move right through you, kinda get everything moving, and uh, not really cause much of a caloric surplus that's absorbed by the body. So it really substitutes in for oatmeal, which I've missed dearly on the ketogenic diet, but this fits the ticket nicely. And um, it's good from a performance practicality standpoint in giving your body the fiber it needs to be regular, quite frankly. So, the macros, Miss Crystal. Okay, the macros are, is it, this is including. Yeah, this, this okay. is with the add-ons. Okay, so 638 calories. Uh, 58 of those are from fat, 14 are from protein, and 18 are from carbs, but there's only three net carbs. Those are all grams, right? Oh, yeah. Did I not say that? Well, it's not 58 calories. Did I say that? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Okay, grams. We're not Those repeating this grams. video. <laughs> so, yeah, grams. It is 638 calories, though. <laughs> she hasn't slept that much lately. <laughs> That's all grams. Um, the breakdown for the ratios is 80% um, fat, 11.4 carbs, and 8.6 protein. Sorry about that. And don't let the 18 grams of carbs and 11.4% carbs scare you because like we said, most of that is insoluble. I mean, the, the chia seeds, they stay a whole seed from beginning to end. <laughs> so not really absorbed by the body. Um, we'll leave it at that. So. On to the recipe. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is boil a cup of water. Okay, so once you have uh, your cup of water boiling, you're going to want to add in the chia seeds and the ground flax seed and just kind of mix it in with a fork until it starts. Oh, and then you want to turn it on low like a low heat until it starts to like thicken up a little bit. All right, so as you can tell, I've been stirring this for a, just a couple of minutes or maybe just a minute, and it's starting to thicken up quite a bit, so it's almost ready to go. All right, so it's been cooking now for, I don't know, it's been like one minute, maybe two minutes on the stove, low heat. Once it thickens up and congeals, you'll know because, I mean, it thickens up and congeals. So, if you can really tell from the video, but that's like a very thick consistency. I'm gonna pour it into the bowl here. You can see it's like oatmeal, practically. Um, and then from this, I'll add the butter, and the heavy cream and the almond butter. You could add like a sweetener if you would like, but um, really ensure the possibilities are endless. You can just add whatever, whatever fits your fancy. 
and it tastes delicious. It's a great way to get the fiber in without the caloric load. It gets things moving. If I ever can tell that I'm kind of like stopped up, I'll have a bowl of this and I will be well the next time. Slap your mama good. 